let's take a look at some percentages. So on these questions, they can word them kind of tricky actually. Um, and it'll say, like here's the first one. It says 40 is what percent of 12? Okay, 40 is what percent of 12? And so it's like, what are they asking? When they word it like that, X is what percent of Y? You just divide 40 by 12. That's all they're asking, right? And 40 divided by 12 equals 3.5. And most likely, you know, you'll get an answer choice of is that, does that mean 3.5%? No, 3.5 is 350%, right? And that might sound confusing, or it might sound super obvious, I don't know. Um, but it's three and a half times. So an answer of like 1.2 is 120%, right? An answer of exactly one is 100%. 0.8, 80%, right? And that's how those percentages work. So let's look at another couple, right? So just the wording that's tricky. And then knowing that stuff that we just talked about there. So 30 is what percent of six? 30 is what percent of six? So again, we're doing exactly the same thing. 30 over 6 equals 5. Does that mean 5%? No, it means 500%. Okay, 5.0 is like 5 times, um, right? It's gone up 5 times. 5 times the amount is 500%. Something has doubled, it's 200%. Just given a bunch of examples, so we get comfy with it. Um, okay, and then, so here's this a different way of wording it. So what if it said 20 is 80% of what number? Use hashtag signal for number. 20 is 80% of what number? Okay, so that one is trickier, right? And so in this one, what we would like to be able to do is know Okay, 80% we could reduce down to a fraction. We're gonna have to set this up as an equation. So we're saying 20 over some number is the same as 80%. It's the same as four out of five. Okay, 80% equals four fifths. Okay, and so once we have this set up, then we can go ahead and solve. Cross multiply, four X equals 100. Divide by four, both sides, x equals 25. 100 divided by four is 25. 20 is 80% of 25. And we solve that by setting the equation up just like that.